All right, this is a video on solving two-step basic equations with parentheses that do not have negatives. So we're going to look at both ways that you can solve these. There are two ways. When you see a equation that has parentheses inside of them, using order of operation, we're supposed to solve what's inside the parentheses first to remove them. But we can't because we do not know what the variable is. So because of that, we've got to get those parentheses off to solve. There are two ways. The first way, you can multiply or distribute the number in front to everything inside the parentheses and rewrite. You only have to do it to this side because we're getting it set up to solve. This means two groups or two times the group x plus 1 equals 8. All right, so if I'm distributing that or multiplying it to everything inside, 2 times 1x gives me 2x's plus 2 times 1 gives me 2 equals 8. Now I am set up to solve this just like the two-step equations in the first video. My first step is to always do the opposite of add or subtract to both sides of the equation. The opposite of adding to is subtracting to, to both sides. When I do that, remember, this is a number plus its opposite, which gives me zero or none. So I'm left with two times x, or two x's, equals six. And now I do the last step, which is, that's multiplication. So I'm going to divide both sides by two, and we use a fraction to show that, divided by two divided by 2. It's always the top divided by the bottom. When you do that on this side, that gives us 1, 1x, one or just x because that's 1x, equals 3. Then, to verify that that's the correct answer, we can put it back where the x is. Okay? 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 8. Remember, we do what's inside the parentheses first. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, so x equals 3 is the correct answer. Now, the other way to solve these is to divide first. And we can only divide first when we have parentheses, because this means we have two groups of x plus 1. By dividing first, we're going to find out and solve with just one group. So I'm going to divide both sides first by the number in front of the parentheses. When I do that, I can take off my parentheses, and I'm left with one group of x plus 1 equals 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then I just have one step left to solve to get the uh, variable isolated or by itself. I do the opposite of what I see on this side. Sometimes you might have more than one step, and we will look at that in a second. I have x plus 1 equals 4. The opposite of adding 1 is subtracting 1 to both sides. Leaving me with x equals 3 again. And that is my answer. And we're good to go. So you can choose either method. If you start using the division first and you find that it's too difficult, then it means that the other way is easier. And that's how you can tell. Most people try division first. If you find you're getting a bunch of fractions, hey, switch over to the other method. All right, let's look at another problem. Okay, make this a little bigger. And I'm going to change this problem up just a little bit to um, make it... Um, show you what happens if there's two steps in there, all right? So I am going to add a number in here. I'm going to add a 2. I want to show you what happens if we have two steps inside, all right? And that doesn't change the answer much. So, you know, we can still solve it. Let's get to it. All right. Again, we can work these either way. We can decide that we're going to distribute the 4, which means multiply it to everything inside first, and then rewrite 4 times 2x's 
leaves me with eight X's. Four times two leaves me with minus eight equals 16, all right? Then we're gonna solve it just like we did with the two-step equations. The first step is always the opposite of adding or subtracting. The opposite of minus eight is to add eight to both sides. Remember, this is a number plus its opposite, which gives us zero or none, leaving us with eight times x equals 16 plus eight is 24. Now we're gonna divide both sides by eight, divided by eight, divided by eight. And again, this gives us one, eight divided by eight, one x, which equals 24 divided by eight is three. Now to check that, to see if it's correct, we can put it back into the equation. Four times the group, two times three, minus two equals 16. To check it, we do the multiplication in here first. Two times three is six. So we're left with four times six minus two equals 16, which is four times four, which does equal 16. So our answer is x equals three. Now let's do the division method first. All right. When I see the parentheses, got to get them off. I decided I'm going to divide first. So I'm going to divide by the number in front of the parentheses so I can work with just one group of 2x minus 2. So I divide both sides by 4. That gives me 1 or 1 group of 2 times x minus 2 equals 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now I'm going to solve using my two steps. The opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2 to both sides. This gives us 0 or none, leaving us with 2 times x equals 4 plus 2 is 6. And for our last step, to isolate the variable, the opposite of multiplication is division. Using a fraction line, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That leaves me with 1x equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. So both ways, we got x equals 3. We already proved that it is correct. This is how you work problems with parentheses. And again, you can choose either method. Most people choose to divide first. And remember, the only time you can divide in equations first is if you have parentheses. And if you start doing division and you notice that you're getting a lot of fractions or it becomes really difficult, then go back and do the distributive math. All right, and that is it for these steps. You go down and get a piece of paper, work the problems that are assigned today, and do your best. Good luck.